and, and also seeing that these girls are from different religions or religious orientations, um, how, can you, how, how can you promote a harmonious relationship between them? Yes, that's actually, that, that's actually the main idea behind our campaign. We're trying to coexistence in Nigeria. I mean, you know, as we all know, roughly about 50% of the population each are either or Muslims. And we've seen in the past that, that that has, you know, produced a serious problem for people in Nigeria. They can't relate with one another. Even in the most my in like little microaggressions you can tell that in your everyday life you just see in some people's everyday lives rather you just see some people being hostile towards one another because of different religions and that's what we're trying to stop it's not letting you reach your full potential as a human being if you constantly keep fighting somebody else because of their own beliefs their beliefs are their beliefs and your belief is your belief every single person is aside and we realize that we are all human beings at the end of the day. And in those beliefs, you realize that, you know, there are still some similarities between each other. You realize that, oh, this, you, you know, both of us actually have some things in common. And then in that way, you can actually realize that you're a human being and you can live together. And, and how far do you see this going? What am I hoping to see? I'm, it's not just about reaching out to people and people seeing it and retweeting and watching our videos. What I want to see from it is people actually taking action against this. It's not social media. A lot of people are on Twitter. A lot of people are on Instagram and Facebook. And anyone can retweet anything, right? It's That's, gr that's great and good and all to know that people can see it. But then we really want to educate people. And we want people to understand that by this information that you have gotten, you can do something about this and you should do something about this. The only way that this thing can end is actually do something about it. So I'm just waiting more to see action rather than just retweets and watching videos. Since the campaign started, um, it's, it's been, we've, we've seen it grow from just about 500 followers likes on Facebook to well over 30,000 within a period of three months or even less. And, and we've also seen um, a participation with the with 100. Now, for us, it's not necessarily, for us, we don't measure success by the number of likes we have or the number of followers we, we have on on Facebook. Um, no, for us, that certainly isn't success. For us, success is more about actions being being taken. Um, like the students mentioned, um, between 2014 and the Boko Haram has deployed more than 117 child suicide bombers. Out of that 117, 80% of those are girls some of them as young as eight years old. And we should all be worried. Um, we definitely should be, be worried about that. Um, whether we're Muslims or Christians, whether we live in Middle Green, or whether we, we live in Makodi or in, uh, in, in Kalaba, we should be bothered about that. Women should be bothered about that. And something should be done, um, not just within Nigeria, but within the, um, in, uh, at the international community level. Uh, UN Mission 13.25 is very clear about this. Look, like countries have to, must take measures, must do a lot more to protect women and girls in situations of um, violent conflict. Because everywhere you go um, throughout history, women and young girls are usually the, the, um, the, the worst victims of violent conflict. Well, Zamiat, in wrapping up, tell us um, more about the Bellypedia app. I believe that's one of the um, social media platforms that you guys are also using to promote uh, this hashtag. A lot of misconceptions between, uh, among people of the Christian and the Muslim faith. A lot of Muslims don't really know what Christianity says, and a lot of Christians don't really know what Islam says. So, uh, Bilipedia, basically what we do there is that we take issues, questions that we believe um, are of interest to everyone. You know, just um, neutral questions like... Uh, um, does 
what 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 uh, is religion's take on women in peace? And um, <clears throat> do we all have to believe in the same God? Uh, you know, what happens in the afterlife? What what is life really about? What's the purpose of life? Just different questions that we think plague the human mind, and we try to bring answers from the Bible and from the Christian, and we have religious advisors for that, both from last semester and this semester. So they they provide they help us provide answers to these questions with um, excerpts from the Bible and from the Quran. And so we put those there so you can see what the Quran says on this topic, what the Bible says on this topic. And then you look and you see that, oh, the Bible says this about the afterlife and the Quran says this about the afterlife. And that the Bible says this and the Quran says this about forgiveness or about peace and or about prayer. And you see that really what they really are both preaching is that we, we do good and we love each other. And once you see that you can, you know, then open up a, an avenue for discussion and you know get to know uh, the person of the other faith all right very well thank you zamia thank you ab for joining us on the program today but that's where we have to leave the conversation we will take a quick break and when we return we'll be talking about this in a different perspective stay with us